freezing out here, RJ. I can see my breath. It has been pretty cold. Look, even the puddles are freezing over. Yeah, gotta love those states of matter. Uh, the where? The states of matter. Solids, liquids, and gases. When things melt, when things freeze, like the puddle. That's pretty cool. What would you say if I could tell you exactly how cool that puddle needs to be to turn from liquid to solid ice? I'd say game on, Zoe. Okay, so matter is anything that takes up space as a solid, liquid, or gas. The state of that matter, solid, liquid, or gas, depends on how fast the molecules move. Just think of them as tiny players on a team. Our team is water today. Now you're speaking my language. All right, let's get rocking. We'll start with gas. Okay. <laughs> gas. Gas is the state of matter when the molecules move the fastest, like super crazy all over the place fast. What makes them move so fast? Heat. The hotter molecules get, the faster and more wild, crazy, and spread out their movements are. When they move like this, we see the water as a gas. Gas moves anywhere and everywhere it can. Got it, coach. If you cool those molecules down, they'll move a bit slower. Take enough heat away, and those molecules will move close enough together to become a liquid, the second state of matter. Exactly how close do they have to get to turn into a liquid? Well, they've still got some room to move. That's why a liquid can change its shape. So when the molecules get cold enough and close enough together, they turn from a gas to a liquid? Yep. And when gas turns to liquid, it's called condensation. Gas to liquid, condensation, gotcha. Now, let's drop the temp even more. When the temperature hits 32 degrees Fahrenheit, that means freeze. This is called the freezing point. <laughs> Not much room to move when you're frozen together. Right. When water freezes, it becomes a solid, the third state of matter. Solids are hard and don't change shape because their molecules have stopped moving around. Sounds sort of uncomfortable. Well, just add some heat and it's easy to change a solid back to a liquid. Then let's get this solid fired up. When the temperature rises above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the ice melts into a liquid again. Right. This is called the melting point. If we crank the heat up even more, we'll reach boiling point and send those molecules into a frenzy. And from a liquid to gas. Yeah, and that's called evaporation. Liquid to gas. Evaporation. There they go, moving as far as they can. All right, let me run through this for you. Tell me if I've got it right. There are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Adding heat or taking it away can change matter from one state to another. When matter changes its state, it's really the movement of the molecules speeding up or slowing down. That I do. RJ, I'm impressed. I think you just gave me an idea for a play to use in tomorrow's game. I'll have my players run in all sorts of crazy directions as far as they can, totally confusing the other team. Oh yeah? You got a name for that play? Don't you know? The Evaporizer. <laughs> <laughs>